All right, so we're gonna wire up Firebase so that we can actually authenticate using our app. What I've done so far is I've imported two things. I imported the auth client, which is from our client app that we exported, okay? And then I have also imported methods from the Firebase auth that they provide. We are gonna sign in with email and password. When they sign up, we're gonna create user with email and password. And then I'm gonna add a functionality of signing out just for this, uh, for, for some demo purposes, okay? So as you can see, we have already, it's already set up, our handle sign-in is set up and handle sign-up is set up. We just need to add in the Firebase code. So let's do that right now. Let me pull in and I'll explain exactly what is happening with the code so you understand. Uh, I have set loading and then I'm gonna go ahead and copy since we're signing in. There it is. So with this code right over here, we are using the sign in with email and password method that Firebase provides. We pass in the auth information from our app that we initialize, and then we pass in the email and password. When successful, we set loading false, and then we receive user credentials. So actually what I'll do is let's go ahead and console that log. Okay, user credential. Okay, cool. And then of course we could do error handling, like putting something up that shows up, hey, error signing in and so on, but we're gonna leave that alone. So that's basically all you have to do. If you're not familiar with Firebase, you're probably like, all right, so how are you handling sessions and things like that? Firebase does all of that for you. Once a user is signed in, the whole session token or checking user that they're authenticated or not, how long they've been signed in, all of that's being handled for you. You can just grab that information whenever you want within your app since it's been initialized, okay? So we can I can show you more about that later on when we look at the authentication auth change that we're gonna check automatically. All right, so that's set up. We'll look at that here in just a second. Actually, let's test it, right? So right now we do not have any user in our app. So if I were a user that tries to log in, we're gonna use the password hello one, and I click login, it's gonna throw an error because there's currently no user available. So what we wanna do is we wanna make sure a user can actually sign up, right? Uh, so we can create an account. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that code in here. Let me explain to you what's happening here. It's basically the same type of method as sign in with user with email and password for a user. Instead, this time we're actually creating them. So we're gonna pass in our auth client in here that we uh, imported. We provide the email and the password. And if it is successful, it provides us with the user credentials and then we can console.log that. Again, we don't have to do anything. The nice thing about this is once a user is signed up, Firebase actually automatically signs them in. So you don't have to do anything. We can just detect the sign in and then do stuff with that, which we will add here in a little bit. Same thing, we have error handling. Nonetheless, we are gonna set loading false, the end of all of this, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and click save. Now, if you remember, when I clicked on login, we uh, receive an error because there is no user. So if I click on sign up though, there it is. Our user just got added on. If we look at the auth, it's got their the email. It obviously won't show the password, but we have at least an email uh, address that's set up. If we go to Firebase, let's check out Firebase. So if we look at our app and we go to authentication, What you'll see is that our user is now created, which is pretty neat, right? So we now have that. So let's go back to the app. All right, so what I want to do next is uh, show you that if I click on sign up, it should throw an error because that user and password is already, they, it already exists, right? So I'm gonna add a sign out button just to demonstrate the login process. It's a type button because so that we don't invoke the actual form. And we're using the sign out method provided by Firebase and feeding it the auth client, right? So let me go ahead and save that, um, have it pop out. We're gonna sign out. Right now it doesn't show that we're signed out, but we are signed out. And then if I click on login, there it is, it works. Our user can now log in with their information. So that works. Our next step is we need to be able to detect within our app, with our to-do app to say, hey, if a user is signed in, let's take them to the actual app so that they can uh, make their list of to-dos and do whatever they need to do, right? So that's our next step. Okay, so in order for us to be able to detect whether a user is logged in or not, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the uh, method provided by Firebase called on auth state change. Whenever there's a change in the state of authentication, this function will run and grab user credential or sign a user out or whatever maybe that you wanna do with it. 
All right, so if we go back to our layout, right now what we have is we are manually determining whether a user is authenticated or not, right? So we want something to feed this variable then so it can actually determine whether there is an auth user or not. To do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a use auth hook, a hook that will continually check whether there's a user or not. And what I've done is I took the liberty of getting it started. So under the lib folder, I added a hooks folder and then I created a use auth hook. All right, so let's take a look and talk a little bit about how this hook works. All right, so we actually don't need this part right here, but we're just gonna leave it anyway. So if you take a look at this auth, we pull in use state, use effect, on auth state changed by Firebase. And then of course we pull in our auth client that we have exported. We're using use effect to determine whether a, a user is, and we actually don't need this dependency to be honest with you. We can actually just initial, initialize that. What's happening in this use effect is when the component mounts, it runs this on alt state change, which subscribes basically to Firebase and continues to check whether there's an, there's an authenticated user or not. All right, just like with anything that is being subscribed, we need to make sure that we unsubscribe when the component does unmount within use effect. So that's why that's there. But essentially on alt state change is that when there is, an, when there is a user uh, we can do stuff with that. I'm setting it to local user. I'm doing this because normally if we were using Redux or uh, Context API, we can access and save that user information there. I'm doing it locally right now. We're just leaving that. We're not going to touch any of that stuff. But regardless, the most important part here is we want to make sure that we return the user. And normally, again, we would put it in uh, in a global Context API or Redux or MobX if you use MobX, uh, but nonetheless, we are returning a user, okay? So either user or we are returning null, which is what's happening over here, okay? So that's what the use hook is, is used for. And the way we can use that is if we go to layout, okay, if we import use auth hooks, okay? I think this is gonna give us a hard time because in order to use a hook, it needs to be in a client component. So I am going to avoid that error by turning this layout into a client. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click save. Let's go ahead and sign out our user. And while we are here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add use auth to our layout. So now our layout, so as you can see, it's rendering there's currently no user because we're signed out. But if we were to log in, as you can see, we now have actual access to, to the app itself because it's now functioning the way we expect it to. Let's add in a sign out button just so we are ready to go here. So what I'm gonna do is under components, I'm gonna create another folder called sign out. Create a file called signout.tsx. All right, so let's set up our code here. Sign out button. And the only thing we are going to return is literally a button that says sign out. And when it is on click, sign out auth okay so let's make sure it's imported from the client app so let's uh, go over this quickly here we have a sign out button that is using the auth client that we have provided and exported and we are going to use a sign out method that is provided by firebase and when it's clicked it basically removes or deletes or invalidates any authenticated user that's currently in your app or using your app, right? So let's go ahead and save that. And in our page, let's add it. Thank you for correcting that. And we're gonna use the sign out button. that okay so this should pop 
up here in just a second. Oh, I know what the issue is. In my sign out, I need that to be a client component because we are using an on-click handler. Let's save that. I should clean up the mess here. Okay, so the app detected that there is a user. If I were to sign out, Right now, it's not doing anything, but what we need to do is we need to actually redirect. So let's import the router. We're just gonna use the first line. Uh, look at that, it just did a beautiful thing for me. So let's, 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 uh, we do this. Love how it saves me time. All right, let's clean that up. So again, our sign out button, we have it so that when it is invoked, it signs out the user and then we push the user then to uh, the home page. So why don't we do this? Log in. The nice thing is our app now recognizes that we have, we're authenticated. All right, but if I click on sign out, what will happen is now we're pushed back to the home page. If I click on get started, since there is no user, it won't automatically get me there. But again, let me show you another way here. So let's say we log in. If I were to go back home, right? Let's say I'm all the way home. If I go to start, it's gonna automatically get me to the home page. Let's go to localhost 3000 another page here if I click on getting started since I haven't signed out yet it should recognize that I have a user logged in and validated and it'll get me back to the uh, to the app as you can see it pushes me to the app itself and we can start working on using Firestore because now we can actually work on this page so that will be our next step